My children, if you have been listening, spending quiet time with me, and obeying my instructions, then you have begun to experience the purification process I have begun in my church. I have asked you to prepare your souls for a time that is approaching very quickly. This requires a deep searching, and a commitment to stay the course with me no matter how much it pains you. I have talked with you about reviewing your lives, purging all distractions that take your focus off me, and then repenting and asking me to absolve your sins. If you have been humble and sincere in this repentance, the Holy Spirit has brought to your attention iniquities that you never saw as sin. This is a time of deep reflection, and a time that you must draw close to me as I lead you through this process. Think of this as an outgoing ocean tide. As my spirit draws back the veil in front of your eyes, sins are uncovered, exposed, and suddenly covered with the light of my love, just as the sand is suddenly exposed and no longer covered by the water. So as the ocean then flows back up the shore, my love flows over your being and I wash your spirit, completely removing every sin that kept you separated from me. In this way, you are cleansed, and purified. This is a process that should continue in our relationship each and every day. In this way will my church remain prepared at all times to answer the call of duty that is to come. You must be ready to hear your instructions and move accordingly in my time, and the only way to ensure this is to keep yourselves pure and repentant. I will accomplish so very much in those who are in complete surrender to my will. Just as I spoke in my word, you too will do greater things than I did while on earth when under my authority and power. The time is now. Allow me to wipe the slate clean and let us begin your new assignment today. Always remember, as well, you have been given the comforter who will ease the transition for you into your new mission. I love you. I am light and love in its purest form. This great shift that is occurring not only causes massive upheaval in the physical realm, but causes the dark to become darker and my light to become brighter. My presence will again take dominion in this place. My light and my glory dispels all darkness, and as I pour out my glory upon you in this earth, everything and every soul will have a response to this, my presence. The very souls of all things will respond and react. Pray for the greater understanding of all I speak. As my glory approaches and rains down, you are experiencing responses on many different levels. My light uncovers all evil thoughts and deeds. I expose all things, and I reveal the hidden motives of hearts. In my presence, all must come into alignment with my spirit or be entirely consumed. I am a consuming fire. As my spirit pours out upon you, your frequencies are changing as you allow me to continue to refine and purify you so you are made into my image. I am changing your very molecular structure to its original state once again. My coming is not singular, but rather the fullness of my indwelling my people collectively. I am igniting your spirits now before I manifest myself physically once again. The world is now witnessing my presence in you collectively, my sons and my daughters. I am fully pouring out upon you as we merge in the purest form of love and holiness in this realm. The extent of your obedience and surrender determines the level of my indwelling in you at any given moment. I am limitless, so if you do not limit me in you, I will completely inhabit your vessels and fill you to overflowing. My chosen ones, you do this collectively. This is how I establish my dominion here, in and through you. In order for the completion of my design and my full manifestation to occur, all must be uncovered, all must be shaken. All must be exposed. A radical shift is upon you, a great merging for those is one spirit with me. Prepare for my glory, those that will be rapture are those who have overcome in this test of life, they have gained the title of overcomer, my first group of overcomers have endured, learned discipline, and persevered through the testing and refining by fire so that holiness and humility are the result consistently. They are in a constant state of cleansing which brings about a further maturing in me, and in living this way, they are being moved from glory to glory. They seek me above all else, and I am their first love. Only this group will know me fully as I am, because there has been an inward change, a circumcision of the heart, 
a constant state of daily repentance and surrender. Many of the chosen remnant have paid the ultimate price for their intimacy with me and lost much in the process. They are willing to lose everything here on earth to gain me and my kingdom for eternity. The fires of your testing bring revelation as they unlock spirits of bondage, spirits of addictions, spirits of lack and separation. Resist the devil and he will flee. Do not believe his lies. Be so careful to not become distracted. Seek me earnestly for I shall always be found. Continue to give me your everything, and I will show you wonders you would not have previously believed. I am doing a new and wonderful thing. Such glory awaits those who remain faithful. The enemy causes unrest and many of my people are unsettled. This is not from me. I give you my perfect peace, and ask you to enter into my rest. I will bring order out of chaos and it is my perfect love that casts out all fear. Be faithful, remain steadfast, have courage, and believe.